beings of light were flying all over us. This is uh, testimonies concerning angelic visions. The thought for this article came uh, when a group, a friend who deals with the subject, while we're drinking coffee during a pause in a discussion, pointed out to us a light breeze, which, as he claimed, was the passing of an angel. Now, uh, the, it is written somewhere in the Holy Bible, I think it's in the book of Revelation, I'm not sure, that when we're talking about something of a miracle or of, of a divine intervention or of God or Christ, and we feel our hair standing up on edge, that is an indication that our, an angel is passing in front of us. We may not see it, we may not know it, but our soul knows it. It's as if we're, it's uh, the spiritual word of saying, pay attention, be alert, and stand correctly. Um, so that's written in the Bible. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, to tell you that so you would know. When you're talking about something divine and your hair stands up on end, usually on your hands, that's what it means. Now, in fact, it says here, in the course of the discussion, he says, the, he asked us to see the time. Our clocks showed 6.20, and she said, angels always pass when the minute hand shows and 20 or beyond 20, whatever the time. So as you can see, the curiosity for the company to learn more information from the expert, quote-unquote, kept the conversation going, and we were surprised to find the same breeze when it was... Uh, 7 past 20, 20 past 7. So I, that's the first time I ever heard of that. But anyway, searching for this past strange phenomenon, I found some very interesting facts in books, but also through the internet, which are really interesting since through them unfolds the truth about guardian angels and how we can contact our personal guardian angel. Now the thing is this, so when you're praying, uh, don't be surprised because most angels appear to us during time of prayer. For example, that's what happened with the uh, Baptist, St. John the Baptist father, Zechariah, when he was in the Holy of Holies, lighting the, uh, fra the uh, fragrance to offer God the fragrance um, of the uh, censer, an angel appeared to him. It was the archangel Gabriel, telling him he would have a son. And the same Archangel Gabriel appeared to the Holy Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, to announce the news to her. The angels appeared to people before uh, on the night of Christ's birth and also um, during uh, the uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, fascinating testimonies. This is January 1988 from California. Now, even though angels are depicted as having wings in icons, uh, the wings just symbolize that they're from another dimension. Even though, as we read in the book of Tobit in the Old Testament, the archangel Raphael appeared to uh, Tobias and uh, his new wed wife as a man. Um, and he later on revealed to them that he was archangel Raphael. He told them to write all of what had happened down for future generations. He says, do not hide what God has given you as a gift. In other words, it has to be shared with others. But going back to what happened with uh, in California, January 1988, the car is running on the motorway, Highway 101. Pierre Giovanovich, a young French journalist, a correspondent for the Parisian Daily, smiles at his girlfriend who's driving. Uh, reportage was a success. The road is open and he will soon be in San Francisco to spend a beautiful evening. Suddenly, Pierre feels thrown from his seat and lands to the left of the driver. Tenth of a second later, the windshield breaks into pieces. A huge piece of glass has been found in the place where his head was to be. He said, I received an unexplained protection that could know the future and intervene to save me, my guardian angel, he said. This is what Pierre, an Orthodox Christian, says, investigates and uh, discovers a huge number of similar cases which occurred to fellow war correspondents in Vietnam, Beirut, and Iraq, his colleagues. Now, the beings of light flew over us. On May 16, 1986, in Cockville, Wyoming, a gunman closed a school holding 
156 children hostage, tragic end, an explosion in the middle of the students. The school was literally bombed in front of police officers. Children came out of the rubble. No one had been injured, a miracle. Perhaps even for the most unbelievers, children testified to the presence of luminous beings. Luminous beings were flying all over us. They were dressed in white and shone like light bubbles, the children said. Avoiding the meteorite. Martin Kaden, a writer and American pilot, told in uh, September concerning September 13, 1964, during a flight over the Dodge City area, he suddenly heard a voice commanding him to turn right. Okay, so he and the co-pilot obeyed. They immediately see a ball of fire pass by with great speed in the place where the plane was to uh, caress and shake the fuselage. The uh, superior force helped them avoid a collision with a meteorite. That's the voice that they heard, turn right. And they did, and it saved their lives. In communication with the angels. But one of the most important testimonies comes from Hungary. In Budapest in 1943, four friends, including three Jews, Hannah, Lily, and Joseph, and a Catholic, Gita, moved to a village to better focus on their psychic pursuits. They seriously ask spiritual questions. One day, Hannah tells them, Beware, I'm not talking to you anymore. The others find out her phrases show a depth that belongs to other levels of consciousness, to other realms. The group is in front of the presence of luminous beings, appearing every Friday at 3 p.m. between Friday, June 23, 1943, and Friday, November 24, 1944. There was a total of 88 appearances. After the first months, luminous beings use the word angel to denote their presence, these beings emphasize that they have difficulty descending to the level of humans, and when this happens, humans have a strong feeling of warmth. Quote, in a hard soil, you do not sow seeds, end quote. You will, it says, you will find yourself in an endless search, they said. They say, Hannah, Lily, and Joseph died on the spot. Gita Males managed to escape from the uh, communist world and published Dialogues with an Angel, a book the depth of which upsets thousands of readers and which refers to testimonies that shook the world. So that book is called Dialogues with an Angel. I never heard of that. Maybe you can find it on the internet. According to those who lived through them, their experiences are difficult to communicate. They are not interpreted as they cannot be described in words. However, the words most often mentioned are beauty, light, power, kindness, warmth. I would also say love. In many cases, ecstasy prevails and the person who is transferred to a second level is truly transformed and delighted. It's, it's as strong as 10,000 um, uh, spiritual uh, delights together, says Dr. Elizabeth Colmber ross This stigmatized talk about their visions referring to heavenly pleasures. The angel convinces them that their time has not come. A return to earthly reality is disappointing. Those who meet their angels in the tunnel during a mortal experience have no desire to return to us. The angel convinces them that their purpose is not over in life, and they are in, our, in our earthly life, and that their time has not come to pass on to the spiritual realm. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.